Now, Ige says he has a new sense of urgency tonight as he heads into his final weeks in office. A new governor will be sworn in at noon on December 5th. Our Mahea Lani Richardson talked to the governor about his to-do list. Mahea? Well, Stephen Kiahi, Governor Ige has been cramming a lot into his final days, but the biggest controversies lately have been over the Aloha Stadium redevelopment project and multi-million tourism marketing contract. We are racing. Finish. In a one-on-one -on -one interview at Washington so Place, Governor Ige told Hawaii News Now he's got a lot to get done in the next seven weeks. It seems like every week it, it accelerates faster and faster and faster to December 5th. In the latest controversy, Ige is trying to get an agreement on a traditional construction model for a $350 million stadium in Halava instead of a private public partnership. The University of Hawaii uh, needs to have a commitment of a stadium so that we can maintain the Division I status. His administration is trying to finalize a proposed agreement on a $35 million tourism marketing contract between HVCB and the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. We are wanting to make sure that we can execute um, and award a contract in a way that's consistent with the law. Both projects could have impacts in Hawaii for years to come. Why is your administration in such a rush to get those two projects finished when the next governor could take it over? We are certainly committed to working every day until December 5th um, to serve the people and the public. His administration needs to finish releasing the $300 rebate checks, which were delayed because of supply chain issues. And he's working on raises for nearly 9,000 veteran teachers. Payments are expected next month. Making sure that we can pay teachers what they, what they really deserve. Now, Ige says he's not worried that Lieutenant Governor Josh Green, who's the front runner in the race for governor, would suddenly change course in the stadium or tourism marketing contracts. Mahalani Richardson, Hawaii News Now. Mahia, thank you.